सीधे देख दो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड वी आर येट विद अनदर एपिसोड एज प्रॉमिस वील बी डिस्कसिंग ए कॉन्सेप्ट रिगार्डिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी एंड द नेम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट इज डीएमजी डीमिलिटराइज जोन मैं यहां पे एक नेटवर्क डायग्राम करने वाला हूं स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट एंड हाउ द डेटा फ्लोज फ्रॉम इंटरनेट टू द फायर वर्ल्ड टू द ई मेल सर्वर एंड देन इट गोज टू योर सिस्टम और द कंप्यूटर और द मोबाइल डिवाइस इन द लैंड कनेक्शन यू आर हैविंग इन योर ऑफिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so let's understand how a data flows from the internet to the system in your office how does it comes so from internet it is routed through a router and then it goes through a firewall you might be knowing what is the use cases of firewall i will be coming up with another video if you want what is firewall and what are the use cases of it then after firewall it goes to the switch that is inside uh, it might be l1 and l2 switch that is inside your company they might be routing it to the lans Uh, you might be different system like the computer system or might be mobile devices anything okay so it's then distributed to your systems in the company and there are two types of servers uh, web server mail server as well as as well as there is another server application server okay the mail server is here please dhyan se suniye when the mail server is here and when it is accepting all the data from the internet uh, take myself as a malicious intender so i will mail something okay it will pass through the firewall because i have mailed something from an uh, authorized mail id okay so it will go pass through this or any phishing attack I, i am doing okay so it will pass through the firewall definitely then after passing through the firewall it will go to the mail server so once it goes to the mail server there is no looking back this all the computers and the systems are vulnerable okay so that is why there is an another concept came into the place dmz now i will be doing a some changes in the diagram and now you will be saying me if this is a safest option or not so now you can see i have made some changes in the diagram so what i have done here is all the servers that were located inside the system inside the company system after the firewall all the servers that were after the firewall i have just moved it here before the firewall in the front of the firewall and i have kept another firewall here okay so i can write it as f1 and this is f2 so i'm using two firewalls one firewall before the servers that is a web server mail server and application server and one firewall after that okay so i have two layers of protection that is one is the internal internal uh, firewall as well as i have one external firewall this is the external firewall because it comes into contact with all the external traffics first then it goes to the server web server and everything if if also any malicious activity happens if also in malicious intender comes through any of the traffic from the mail or something else or any phishing attack happens they will go inside this if also f1 is not able to detect it fine it goes to the web server after that but it it will be not be going inside the switch inside the systems of the company because of the internal firewall so this is demilitarized zone so what is the meaning of demilitarized zone it is the area where the military is forbidden it's a high security area so that is the reason this is also known as demilitarized zone because there there are two boundaries one is f1 one is f2 internal and external i think that's it uh, for today ye agar aapko ye video pasand aaya so please like share and subscribe and agar aap naye ho to definitely subscribe karna and wo bell icon ko to dabana mat hi bhulna So thank you guys uh, see you next time happy learning